Hello everyone, welcome once again to this online physics class. You all know we are doing this chapter that is chapter number 10, Gravitation. And in this we are solving the numericals which are given at the end of your lesson. So only one sum is left. So that I will be solving in today's session. And rest are all based on your relative density, by on C, Archimedes principle which are all eliminated from the syllabus. This year you don't have it. So let's now see the sum. See, a ball thrown up vertically returns to the thrower after 6 seconds. Find the velocity with which it was thrown up, the maximum height it reaches and its position after 4 seconds. They have just given the statement. Means a ball is thrown up vertically. Okay. And this ball reaches the person, one who has thrown it up after 6 seconds. They have asked you to find three things here. One, the velocity with which it was thrown up. And second, the maximum height it reaches and then its position after 4 seconds. So let us solve this one by one. Now, I want you all to understand one thing here. See, the ball is thrown up okay and it is reaching the person who has thrown it up after six seconds of time that means to go up it will take half of that six seconds that is three seconds that means the maximum height the ball will reach will be in three seconds of time because total time taken to go up and come back is six seconds means to go up to reach a maximum height will be 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 seconds ok so only that time factor is given by using this you have to find the velocity with which it was thrown up the maximum distance it has reached and the position of the ball after 4 seconds of time ok now see the ball takes 3 seconds to go up and 3 seconds to fall down from the maximum height right so first we have to calculate the velocity with which it was thrown up. So the velocity with which it was thrown up means what? They are asking you to calculate the initial velocity. So final velocity will be 0 meter per second. We need to find the initial velocity which is always represented by the letter u. Now acceleration due to gravity. The ball is moving above the earth's surface working in the opposite direction of your gravity. So we will take it as a negative value but in general g is assumed as a value that is 9.8 meter per second square. Now we need to calculate the value of u. So which formula we have to apply here? We will use the formula v is equal to u plus gt. So this is based on the equation of motion v is equal to u plus at. a will be replaced by g because we are talking about the ball which is moving above the earth's surface that is working against the force of gravity time given is 3 seconds because total time to go up and come back is 6 seconds therefore to go up it will take half of the total time that is 3 seconds so in the place of v we will substitute 0 u we need to find and g as I told you will be taken as a negative value because it is moving above the earth's surface whenever the objects are moving away from the earth that is above the earth's surface working against the force of gravity acceleration due to gravity will be a negative value and time will be 3 so by substituting all this v is equal to g 0 u we need to find and g is minus 9.8 into 3 now 9.8 into 3 it's simple multiplication it is 29.4 so 0 is equal to u minus 29.4 y minus plus into minus will give you minus now we need u so you have to take this 29.4 to the other side because it's a negative value when negative goes to your left hand side it will become a positive value therefore value of u is 29.4 meter per second so this is the velocity with which it was thrown up now let's come to the second part of the question you have to calculate the maximum height it reaches the distance it has traveled in three seconds of time now we have calculated the value of u so now we have to calculate the maximum height it reaches in 
3 seconds of time. So let's apply the formula v square is equal to u square plus 2gh because we need to find h we know all the other values we know the value of v which is 0 u we have calculated as 29.4 g we know it's 9.8 so here also g will be a negative value because we are talking about the maximum height it reaches above the earth surface that is away the away from the force of gravity so it's uh, in this case also g will be considered as a negative value so v square will be 0 square u square will be 29.4 the whole square plus 2 into g h 2 into minus 9.8 into h now 0 square is 0 29.4 the whole square is 29.4 into 29.4 which is equal to 864.36 it's a simple multiplication which you can do by yourself and see and 2 into minus 9.8 will give you 19.6h again we want the value of h so let's take this minus 19.6h which is on the right side to the left hand side so when it is moving to the left hand side the negative value will become a positive value so 19.6h is equal to 864.36 now what will be h h will be 864.36 divided by 19.6 by division 19.6 h means what 19.6 into h so multiplication when it comes to the other side will become a division so 864.36 divided by 19.6 will give you 44.1 meter these are all simple multiplication and division which you can work by yourself and check the answer I have solved and seen and I have given the answer so now the maximum height the ball reaches in 3 seconds of time will be 44.1 meter. Now, let's look at the third part of the question. See, to calculate its position after 4 seconds. Means you have to calculate the position of the ball after 4 seconds. As I told you, here you have to understand. The total time the ball has taken to go up and come back down is 6 seconds. Here they want you to find the position of the ball in 4 seconds of time. I told you the ball will take 3 seconds to reach the maximum height and 3 seconds to come back to the thrower. That means the person one who has thrown it vertically upwards. So 4 seconds means 3 seconds it is taking to reach the maximum height. And after that it starts coming down. So within one second, what distance will it reach? Now also the ball will be above the ground surface. Right? But in one second, how much distance it will be covering above the earth's surface? In total, 4 seconds of time. 3 seconds, we have already calculated 44.1 meter. And then when it is reaching 44.1 meter, from that is the maximum height. From there it will start coming down. So within one second, what distance will it reach in total seconds? In three seconds, we know 44.1 plus now we have to find in one second. So we'll consider it as three plus one, four seconds. See, I've given the explanation here. We have seen that the ball reaches the maximum height in three seconds. We have to find the position it reaches in four seconds, which means that we have to find the height by which the freely falling body that is the ball comes down from the top in one second that is three seconds plus one second three seconds to go up maximum height 44.1 meter and from there it starts coming down so within one second three seconds we already know and within one second how much distance it's going to cover now here we have to find the height that means the position because now also it's going to be away uh, from the earth surface above the earth surface right because in sixth second only it's reaching the person who has thrown it so when it is four seconds it's away from the earth surface so we have to use the equation h is equal to ut plus half gt square in the place of u you will put zero here because after reaching a maximum height we have calculated the velocity with which it was thrown up and now from there it is coming down means it has you know, reached a point and from there it is starting means you will be considered as 0 there. So substituting 
u as 0 and t as 1 second because 3 seconds we already knew and now we have to find for 1 second. 0 into 1 into half into 9.8. Here g will be taken as a positive value. Why is it a positive value? Any You all must be knowing because we are now talking about the ball which is traveling towards the earth surface. So it will, g will be a positive value. So 9.8 into 1 square. Simple calculation. 0 into 1 will give you 0. Half into 9.8 that is 9.8 divided by 2 will give you 4.9 into 1 square is 4.9 only. So 0 plus 4.9 will give you 4.9. So the position of the ball after 4 seconds is going to be 4.9 meter. Okay. So with this we are going to come to an end of today's session. So with this we have solved the numericals which are given under the exercise part of this lesson. Okay. So keep practicing. Do it again and again and see. Only thing is you should know the formula that you have to apply here. Once you know the formula, obviously the rest of the things means whatever is related to solving the sum is very very easy. Okay. So keep practicing. Practice makes a man perfect. I always keep telling you this. So keep practicing. Never think physics sums are hard. Nothing is hard. And I want to tell you this is a chapter that you will be having for your upcoming periodic test in the month of December. So only one chapter from physics that is this gravitation chapter. So we have done. Now we have sufficient time to revise. So we will start revising again. So everything will be easy. Don't worry. Keep practicing. Take care. Bye.